this recipe is for delicious maple custard tarts and they make a lovely afternoon treat. I'm going to start by making the pastry. I've got some flour in my bowl. I'm just going to add some diced butter to it and then just drop the cubes in. You almost want to just coat the cubes of butter as you go, just so they don't all just clump together. And then just using your fingertips, rub the butter into the flour. And once you're happy that your mixture is nice and fine, we're going to stir through some icing sugar and then just make a well in the centre and add a little bit of vanilla bean paste. And then I'm going to add some milk, just a couple of tablespoons to start with, with a table knife. Just cut it together to form a dough. Once the milk's been incorporated, just use your hand to bring it together. Just squeeze very lightly. You should end up with a fairly smooth, nice ball of pastry like this. I'm just going to wrap it in cling film. it down into a disc just to make rolling it easier later and then pop that into the fridge for about an hour. Now for the custard filling for our tarts I've got some cream and milk here I'm just going to warm it gently and in this bowl I've got two eggs and a yolk I'm going to add some maple syrup, caster sugar and just whisk those together. Now my creamy milk has come to a gentle simmer, so I'm just going to take that off the heat. I've got some corn flour, which is going to thicken our custard slightly, so just add a little bit of that mixture. I'm just going to stir it together, just to form a, a loose paste. And then pour that paste into the bowl, and then quickly whisk it. And then while continuing to whisk, just slowly whisk in the rest of that mixture. And then just pour that into a jug, Set that aside to cool until you're ready to bake the tartlets. So I'm ready now to roll my pastry. So just lightly flour your surface. And then just a little bit of flour onto your rolling pin. I'm just going to try and roll quite evenly because we want thin pastry for these little tartlets. Our pastry is thin enough now, so I'm going to start by stamping out some circles. I'm aiming to get 12. the twelfth one and if you need to you can gather up these trimmings and then re-roll them just to make sure you've got enough. I've got a non-stick muffin tin here it's going to gently drape each disc in and we're not going to try and smooth them out they're going for a rustic look. That's the last one going in. So that's our tartlets all nicely lined. I'm just going to prick the bases just to let any air bubbles escape. And then because we don't want soggy bottoms, I'm going to bake them blind. So I've got some parchment here, just cut into squares that I've scrunched a little bit. They go into each one. And then I've got some baking beans here that I'm going to use to weigh them down. Just a few into each. And this should help them keep their shape as they're baking. Now these need to bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. So my tartlets have set, I'm just going to remove the beans. Now be careful because it's going to be quite hot. Just pop them back in. And the sides are beautifully golden, but we just need to set the base. So once all the beans and paper are out, I'm going to pop them back into the oven just for a few minutes to make sure the bases are set. Cases are ready now, so I'm going to take that custard and pour it into each one. And these need to go into the oven now for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're set and golden brown and then they're all ready to serve. For more lovely recipes, don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.